I made it. <sighs> okay, gang. Hello, hello, hello. We're here. We're here because we're here. Okay, good morning. Oh, hi, yo. What's people asking? Am I finished with the iPad work? I'm finished for today. <coughs> there are still <coughs> more blocks to trace. I've got to trace the yellow. And I've got to trace octopus patterns. But as I told you, rather than just do endless days of iPad work, it makes more sense just to flip it around and do different kinds of jobs. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to, I've taken a printout. I've taken a printout of the tracing from the iPad. I can't do this on stream for you. What I did last night was I exported the file in Photoshop format to the computer upstairs isolated the red layer, you know, that red transparent layer that we've been tracing to make the seaweed patterns, put it in a PDF file and took it to the local copy shop. We don't have a good big laser printer here. Printed it out at the copy shop, brought it back here and measured it carefully. The printout was just a normal, I don't have it here, it's a black piece of paper, and worked out the scaling. Because the copy shop computers, uh, printers don't allow you to scale things. So it just comes out automatically at some size. So I figured out the scaling, 96%. Took my Gumpy paper. This is a Gumpy layup, layup. Took my paper to the copy machine, copy shop, put it in there. They're, you're not supposed to do that, but they don't notice it's in the back room there. We now have the work that I traced printed out on Gumpy paper at the right size. Now, if I wanted to live dangerously, and I wasn't too cared to too careful about the finished print. We can just paste this down on a piece of wood and start carving. But we can't do this. And we've tried to explain over the past few days about the problem here. I need information from the Photoshop file, from the original, these zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. But I need also information as to where are the border lines here. And although these look like the proper information, this might not be true. Because what actually, how did my knife wibble and wobble when I was carving the key block? Remember, we've been here a year ago. I traced the key lines, pasted them on a piece of wood, and then carved them. But I'm not a robot. You know, they come a little wibble, a little wobble. Sometimes there's a hard piece in the wood. Sometimes there might have been a bit of distortion. <coughs> Excuse me. There might have been a bit of distortion as I pasted it down. Maybe today's a rainy day, and this piece of paper actually is 0.5% bigger than it was the day I pasted this down. So we can't just transfer the color blocks in the same way that we transferred the key block. It's just too dangerous. If there were no zigzag zigzags here, if it were just areas, outlines, then no problem. I transfer the key block, take a print of it, color in the areas, and paste it down. But today I need both. So what we're gonna do is I've got another piece of the Gumpy paper here. We're going to combine them. I'm going to, I'm going to proof this print first. I'm going to wash it off and take a test sheets and stuff like that. But if it looks okay and it looks like we're ready to go, then what I'll be doing is I'll be actually printing here today a normal transfer sheet on the Gompe paper. And then I'm going to try and combine. I'm going to get my knife out and I'm going to pick this up and paste it here and pick this up and paste it here until we have the necessary information. The outline information from the printed version and the zigzag zigzag information from the iPad version. That's the long story. Let's just get to it. First step is finally this block needs to get washed and proofed. I'll junk on my desk. Yahoo auction stuff came in yesterday. Too. My washing brush, it's, it's a normal printing brush, but it has no pigment. It's never been used for, for pigment. So there we are, we're gonna wash this thing at last. It's gonna change, you know, some of the fine lines are gonna swell up a little bit. It won't look so cool as this. This black you're seeing here is not from being printed black. This is the leftover black of the, of the Gompi paper. 
put it on the copy paper. Dave, do it, do it. Don't whine, just do it. I don't want to. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Maybe the octopus get a shower. Actually, it's going to be a job to get this off because it's been on there for a couple of years. When did I start carving this? Fall of 2016? Somewhere around there? There's just so many things I've got in the way in the past couple of years. Hard wood, and I used a good hard glue, and it's now set for a couple of years. So this is going to take a while to come off here. Somebody remind me a bit later on. I know I've got some photographs from downstairs. I spent yesterday was Tuesday. I spent the day down there. Finally, I got a full day's construction work down there. I was I was I was surprised. Like who are you? He hasn't remembered seeing me for such a long time. Very funny. Ha ha ha. I finished the, uh, I can't say finished, whatever, finished in quotation marks, I finished the, uh, the counter, the, the register, the sales counter, whatever you call it. It looks nice, and we have a surprise. So when the staff sees it, they're going to go, what? Because <laughs> we got a surprise that they don't, they don't know about. <laughs> so remind me, let me get this part done, and we'll show you the pictures. Yeah, Gumpy normally peels off just in seconds, but like I said, this one's been on there for a couple of years. That glue has really hardened. And I used the strongest, um, uh, strong wood glue. It'll come off, just let it soak for a bit. It's a windy day here in Tokyo. It's spring. Eh? Yesterday was a gorgeous, like 35 degrees summer day. Today it's cool and sprinkly rainy. And it's spring. It changes day by day by day. <coughs> and it's gusty wind today. And what you just heard then, ka -ka 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 -ka. that's one of the loose you know, panels on the decrepit building next door. It's part of his roof and his wall lifting off. It's an ancient building next door. It's the antique shop, Kotaru Do. The guy, a girlfriend of mine, he was in Lonely Planet together with us, and he was on that um, 2020i TV show, the NHK, just a while back. And the building is totally, totally, totally decrepit. It, this whole area was leveled during the war, so that must date from 1945, whatever. And it can't be rebuilt, because you know, in the old days, they just built the buildings like a, like a, I don't know, a warren. But modern codes don't allow that. And his building, he's the one right in the middle. My building faces one of the streets. All the buildings around face the outside street. And he got the middle spot for the people that built that building, got the middle spot. And the only access is like a little walkway. I don't know, it's a meter wide. Some of you have been in there. And he doesn't care. It's sort of funky for his little business. But there's no way it can be rebuilt. Contemporary building codes do not allow a structure to be built with only like one meter access. You can't get a fire in there. People could get trapped, you know. So there's no way the building can be rebuilt. So he's just using it until basically until it falls down. So he's patching and patching and patching and patching. I say he, whatever, the landlord, the guy who owns it. 
And the only way forward for those people, the landlord and whatever, is to buy one of the surrounding buildings. That would give them access to the street, tear both buildings down, and they could build a new structure. It's still hard. Wow. A couple of years now, this was actually a bit of a mistake to let this go this long. Is it the place I go to the dance parties? I don't go to the dance parties. I went to one for the NHK program, but it's not my thing. Aoyama, I don't know what you're talking about here, Mr. Quantar. I'm not sure, what did I say, Aoyama? Aoyama, the guy downstairs, my friend, the, the worker here, Aoyama-san. Blue mountain, green mountain, blue mountain, whatever. Okay, we can help this along a little bit in some of these wide areas with a bit of um, nagra. Very light, we don't want to grind away any wood here, we're just trying to get that toner off. Do not overdo this if you try this. Octopus gets a shower and a shave. I think we're good to go. It's not 100% off, it doesn't matter. It will come off, it's just toner, thin, thin toner. It'll come off and get mixed with the semi pigment. It's probably the same stuff anyway. <laughs> Today's stream is sponsored by <laughs> They're new here in, in Japan. I haven't seen them before. In the last few months, I started to see these in a convenience store. I think it's, is it a French company or something? They're waving a French flag here. Uh, here. What it says, bored in France, bottled in Japan. I don't know. No idea. Happy couple. Okay, and what we're going to do today, we're a long, long way from printing this thing, of course. Before we do the color separation thing, like I told you before, pasting it down, I have to test print this. I'm going to proof this. I've got no idea. I may have forgotten to carve some spots. I may have some lines that are way too thick. I'm going to proof it. I've got some, just some sample, just some copy paper. I've got my barrel and the brush, but what I don't have is pigment. I forgot. I gotta go and get a bowl of pigment. Hang on a sec. Back in a minute. Yo, sure. Hold these sticks in the way here. Blocks.
I just stole a brush from the party room. Actually, it's thick black, so I've got a bare, bare brush. I won't be using that brush. We need some light, light gray here. Okay, this is the last time we'll see it clean. It was my shirt. This block is thirsty, thirsty, thirsty as well. It's very, very hard wood. It's dry. It's drinking everything I've been pouring onto it. Junk paper. What have I got? Junk paper. What's this? Addresses. On stream, right? Better location. You zoom in a bit. I don't know. I think it's okay. I don't know things. Let me do this. When it comes time to do the real printing on this, you know, you get your pigments ready, paper ready, all that kind of stuff, and it's three, four, five, six minutes, uh, well, ten minutes, whatever, warming up. You saw me do this when we did the, you uh, know, girl sitting in the bath I spent you know like three hours on that one it was carving 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 before I started printing I washed warmed the block warmed up the block warmed up the block you've got to get these things ready all right let's pull something here this is just copy paper we have just a sheet of copy paper this is not going to be the world's most killer print I'm not even going to register it, just layer down. I'm not going to bother with the border lines there, getting around them, they need to be warmed up. Here we go, here's our first, here's our first proof impression. Excuse me while I have a look at it here myself. Applause, applause. <laughs> she is looking good, you know. I'm not so bad at this. My God, she's looking good. Look at this, the nice hair. Let me get to uh, Is it focused? I can't look both ways at the same time here. She is looking good. Of places stick out. There's a bit of a funny shape along the edge of the octopus here. I don't know if that's on the original. I don't have it in front of me right now. 
that line looks a bit too fat. There's, there's obviously clearly things that are going to have to be touched up and cleaned up. I don't see any major problems with the difficult parts. The hair nest in the middle and her hairlines, her eyes are open. Her teeth look good. The critical, critical areas, the parts that people look at. Some of these suckers look a bit too fat. They'll have to be trimmed down, I think. I think we are good to go. I see a little pop there. I popped on one of those lines. Maybe I was when I was carving the dots around it, I banged my knife against one of the lines. Same as the original carver did. He did that all over the place. <coughs> this looks a bit funny. I have to trim that. I got to go over it. Clearly, I got to go over it. But uh... now, what this will also let me test now is we took that printout of the grass, grass seaweed. And I can now see if we're going to roughly line up. Roughly line up, if we're going to line up perfectly. And we do, we do, we do. It looks like to be lining up here. We are. We're lined up. Okay, so let's go ahead with this. What time is it? we got to get moving on this. It's 8.20. Let me warm it up again, the block, and take, do this impression again, but this time do it on the gompi paper. And that's going to be a bit hard because this is a thick backing sheet here. So what I'll need to do is get the gompi paper ready. Pull a couple more proof sheets in quick succession. One, two, get the block warmed up more carefully. And then throw my gompi on and do that. So here we go. It's already dried just in the little minute that I was talking to you guys about that. Doesn't it look cool? Let me, let me pop my own picture of a mugshot out of the way there for a minute. Just a sec. Let me get this out of the way. Hey. It's a bit unusual to see it like this because the block hasn't absorbed enough sumi ink yet to get black. So I rubbed, I rubbed pigment on it and it was all been pulled off. So the top of the wood surface is still visible. But the surrounding area is black. This is not going to happen for much longer. After taking, you know, half a dozen impressions or so, the top surface also becomes black. I'd like to take a scan like this, but uh, whatever. Let's just keep going. Let's just do this, get to work, just don't get sidetracked. Okay, what are we gonna do now? Two or three proof sheets and then bang, pull my test sheet, test sheet for the Kobo City.
do this thing. Click. Click. Down she goes. Much more difficult with the thick paper. I haven't learned yet where the parts of the image are. Ooh, just barely long enough. Look at that. Not really long enough. Now, we cannot fool around because now if this paper swells or shrinks, we're in trouble. So the block now goes away for a while. Brushes, pigments, tools go away. Sorry to ignore the chat here, excuse me. Now these two sheets have to now be combined. Because of all those, I don't know how much you remember about what we talked about. Can I zoom in a bit here? These circular anemone shapes, or whatever they are, the ones with the five or six stars, eh? I couldn't do those from tracing, so I just left those as circles. They're going to be left out here now. And what I need to do is I have to integrate. We'll do this in pieces. The original guys didn't have this trouble because somebody, the artist or one of the assistants, drew this grass on this sheet. They would have made this transfer sheet and just scribbled. There's the seaweed, there's the seaweed, there's the seaweed. They weren't reproducing anything. It didn't exist. They were just creating it. So they scribbled seaweed on this transfer sheet themselves. What I'm doing is I'm taking off the top layer, the seaweed. But I've left the lines. I don't know. These are all worse. Which one's worse? So I've 
left the visible lines and added the ragged edges. And now inside this thing, we now color in what we want to be green. Except it's the way around, right? And this will now get pasted down on the wood for carving. So this is going to be a while here. It's going to take a while to get this done. Misalignment issues, there's two or three issues that are involved. I don't know if you, if the misalignment had been caused while they were creating the color separations, then the color block would be misaligned and all copies of the print that we see would have the same misalignment. And that's not the case. When you go out on the net and look at the British Museum copy, my copy, some other copy, some other copy, the misalignment is different. So the assumption is that they did their job properly the color block aligned with the key block. Bang! At the point of carving, the first day the print was made. Then as the years go by, months go by, years go by, blocks expand and contract at different rates. <coughs> key blocks are hardwood, they don't expand so much. Color blocks are lighter wood, they expand and contract much more. And the fact that we see different expansion and different misregistration on different copies tells me that they perhaps did it correctly the first time and then over the years the blocks themselves change size. But if you see the same mistake on all copies, and that's the case with those little black dots we saw yesterday, the Monday, the little black dots are missing on all copies on the left-hand side, so that's now a mistake in the early stage of production. They forgot to trace them, they forgot to carve them, one or the other. I think I just made a little mistake right there, that little five pointed anemone thing, what part is supposed to be green, what part is supposed to be white. So it's the other way around. I did it wrong there. Okay. No problem. Mistakes are for catching. So it's the inside area has to be left out. And the surrounding area has to be included. So it's actually, so it's a green, these things are green circles with white triangles popped out of them. So let's just do that. And there's some places where you don't know what to do because what the guy's done. <laughs> Actually, I knew I was going to get to this when I was carving this. I saw it. Can you see? Where am I? Mr. Trying to center it here. Okay. <coughs> do you see this? The one we just did down here, it's simple. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six triangles in the circle. So no problem. The green background is going to go there. There'll be six white areas popped out of it. This what am I? I'm still in the camera here. This one's the same. There's a circle. It's green, white, green, white, green, white, green, white. Around you go. This one doesn't work like that. The triangles are there. There's triangles. One, two, three, four, five triangle. Then a half a triangle. So I'm like green, white, green, white, green, white, green, white, green, white. And what do I do with that last little thing? <laughs> Those guys are so much fun. They just didn't care. They just blew through it. And the same as I'm going to blow through it. I'm going to make that green. I can't lose any sleep over this, even though it looks a tiny bit, tiny bit wrong if you look at it microscopically. <coughs> I 
this one's a total absolute mess on the original it's just a green blob <coughs> same thing there the guy came through and said what the hell am i going to do with this that's enough just make it green Now, the next part we'll need to pick up from our transfer sheet again. Now, that whole area there, I just left it as a blob. We don't need it. What we need now are the next areas of zigzag, zigzag. Let's try taking this group as a this this batch as a group. figuring out where it lays down, lies down, whichever way you want to think about that. part against the octopus because I don't trust the transfer. I do trust my test print. Height. Actually we have an anemone here which has to be seen so we'll cut this all out here. So it's a combination, eh? It's a combination of the tracing from the iPad plus the data taken exactly from a transfer sheet. And it's really, I haven't been able to figure out any other way to do this more accurately than this. If I was more skilled at drawing and uh, over in the Adachi workshop, not now, but years ago, there was a guy called Anapunabasha. He's long dead now. And he was an artist in his own right, doing Nihonga painting. And he worked for Adachi doing this job. They didn't have, you know, the copy transfer sheets, iPad and stuff. You know. So what he did for them was he would sit down with this color transfer sheet and an image of the original print, and he would draw. He's got his brush. And he would draw. He was skilled enough at drawing. He would draw these seaweed marks or whatever it was on, on the color kimono patterns or stuff like that he was good enough to do that I don't have that skill but that would be the ideal here you know do the test print the proof print you know the lines are exact and then with your nice brush just draw these things if you were skilled enough to draw them as they were I can't do that I'm zoomed in a bit too close, aren't I? Sorry.
Sorry to ignore the chat here. I don't know what's happening. Seems pretty quiet, right? Nobody's gone home. And now a word from our sponsor. Excuse me. There's a bunch of anemones here. I have to clear that out. Let's see. Let's see. It's really a mishmash name.
these parts up here at the edge of the block high up at the far side were the ones that were the most misregistered on the original. So it's, there's less data to work with, but you know, these are just anemones. We can see what's supposed to be. So you can reconstruct it easily enough. what this is. Let's have a look. Again, just a mess, so we can be quite free to reconstruct it. I think that's the top section done. Let's move down now to the lower area here. Am I still on, on camera area? Okay, you guys still don't get what we're doing here. I'm sorry then. I don't know. The, when, when I paste this down, the areas that will be kept for carving are the ones you see here as black. That came from the tracing I was doing the other day. And then I'm filling in with yellow. So the ye black and yellow will be the parts. Oh, day chan good morning. Soka, soka. I forgot you were here today. Okay, soka, soka. Okay. Again, the, it's the black and the yellow that will be preserved. So I'm sorry the confusion about the two colors. Ideally, it would all be just like yellow. We do the transfer sheet, color in yellow, what we want, and that's it. But because I'm no good at drawing, I can't look at the original and draw to match things. I did my drawing on the iPad. And I printed out the iPad stuff, and that's what you see in black here. And I'm now combining. I'm drawing what I can draw, the little yellow parts around here. And I'm pasting on the parts from the iPad tracing, the parts that I can't draw freehand. But I can trace them, but I can't draw them. So that's what we're doing here. After I paste this on a piece of wood, I will be carving away all the junk and I will be keeping the parts that are black and yellow. Sorry about the confusion here. So somebody's saying it's Ladies Wednesday at Mokohankan, <laughs> Ladies Day. So so what time is it? 8.51. Okay, I got a couple of things. Can we come sit down for a while? Uh, I sure. Oh, yes. Camera's coming soon, I guess, to move that thing out of the way there. That's going to be in the way. I've got some uh, pictures from downstairs I was going to show these guys, so maybe this is a good time to do that too. This is Ray Chan, hide the print day. Oh, so I forgot about that. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Oops, oh well. Uh, anyway, here we are. Here you go. Let's see it up here. What, uh, what I got, I got some pictures from downstairs, and it's looking cool. It's looking really, 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 really cool. Do you know how to do this? Uh, the button? No, no. Construction. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you pop up the button, it says construction. You got it. All right. Thank you. 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 Good. Good. Okay. You, you haven't seen this yet, so you can't give a narration here, right? No, no, no. Okay, the picture there. This is a picture taken, uh, I don't know, a month ago. This is not a new picture. You've seen this picture before. This is the looking into the shop from the front door, the sales counter on the left-hand side. 
And at the moment, it's just sitting there covered with junk. You know, the frame of it is ready, mm -hmm. but we've just done a, I, I've been, I said, I procrastinated. No, I, I've been kind of busy, whatever, doing different things. But we're now getting to the end, and Aoyama san has told me, Dave, I know either you do this or I'm going to take over and do it. And I do not want that to happen, so I had to get in there yesterday and did it. Let's see. Go ahead. If you hit the right arrow button, it should. Yeah! Good, 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 good. Okay. It's different on a white balance. I screwed up the white balance. But anyway, so this was yesterday morning at the beginning of work. I had ordered a plank that's going to be for the top of the counter. And at the moment, the plank is just sitting there on top. It hasn't been cut or shaped yet. And I don't know if you know the deal. The counter itself, can you see it's a slight curve? You know, mm -hmm. the, the front of that counter, the part that faces the shop, is a oh, slight yeah, curve. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't actually remember why I thought of doing that, but I thought it would just be a bit boring if the thing is all square and straight. Mm -hmm. So I made it as a curve. It took a, a lot of work to work out the curve, and then all the notches and joints are on a curved yeah. piece of wood, so it's a bit more difficult. But anyway, no problem. I thought it would be cool. Pump ahead to the next one. To, to carve that curve, so you can see it now. The bottom part, the frame is curved, and now I've got to make the same curve on the top. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I got a long, thin piece of wood. I, I tapped some nails in the top. Instead of trying to draw the curve freehand or something, I bent a piece of wood and uh, and made drew drew the curve that way with these mm -hmm. pins. You know. The next arrow. There we go. <laughs> Cameron was here yesterday. He took a picture as I ordered. And we, we bought this tool just for this job. It's a, a, what do you call it? A jigsaw, I think. We bought it just to do this job. And I thought it was going to be easy, but it wasn't. Because it turns out that that jigsaw cuts chuk, 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 up and down, up and down, up and down. But on a thin piece of wood, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But the thicker, the thicker, the thicker, the thicker the piece of wood gets, the more the blade is wandering to the left mm -hmm. or to the right as it goes down. Do you so, have to sand it? Well, you had to sand it plain. The top line was straight, but the, the bottom line was wavering quite a lot. So... Mm -hmm. I mean, I knew this was happening, so I kept away from the line so it wouldn't be dangerous. Yeah. Slide along. And then the inside surface. This is the counter seen from the back side where the staff sits. Also, has to be curved the other way around so that, you know, they can lean forward a bit. And, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so. Right. And there we go. That's the, oh. that's the appearance. Oh, I like the curved one. Oh, the curved looks nice. It's really quite subtle. It's no big deal. Mm -hmm. and, you know, whatever. Aoyama sounds thinking, why are you wasting time on this? But it's okay, whatever, just a little. But, but that's, hang on, that's not finished because there's another step. Okay. When I was thinking about the preparation for this, I thought it would be this big giant thing sitting in the middle of the shop and it'll just look like a box. Mm -hmm. And I don't want a boring box sitting in the middle of the shop. You know, we have no choice. We can't put it against the wall. Staff has to stand behind it to help the customer. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do? So poke ahead to the next arrow. What I did was I flipped the countertop upside down. I haven't, that last picture, I hadn't screwed it in place yet. So this is the countertop flipped upside down. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if you can see what's going on. I took the router. No, I took my router. <laughs> <laughs> These stream people have got me mixed, confused now. I, I had this figured out years ago, which is which. Do you know the two words, router and router? Yeah. Over there on the wall, we've got this little box that plugs into the wall yeah, and the, the electrical mm -hmm. signals come through for the Wi-Fi. Yeah. And for me, where I grew up, that's called a router because it sends different mm -hmm. signals to different routes. And then this tool you see in this picture here, to me, that tool was always called a router because routing is the action of digging out a, a hole or a trench. It's routing. So for me, as a Canadian boy, this mm -hmm. is a router and the black box over there with the electrical wires in it is a router. But my American friends, and lots of people on this chat, they do it the other way around, or they call them both routers, or everything's R O O O T E R. Now I'm getting confused as to which is which. <laughs> anyway, to get back to my basic roots, this is a router. <laughs> and I cut a little slot. Next arrow. And this is a close up. And can, do you know what this is, Rachel? This is like something that you kind of send signals to. Well, yeah, it's, it's electrical gear, So, but yeah. what it is, is it's a long, thin strip of stuff. I went to Akihabara mm -hmm. and said, I want this item. And he says, how many meters do you want? And I said, well, the counter is 2,500 mm -hmm. centimeters, maybe 2.5. He said, okay. And he got this roll of stuff. He pulls, 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 got his scissors out and chop, chopped it off. And this is what I bought. And for me, you know, when you go to the, the supply shop, you want some wire or something. 
two meters of wire, cut, mm -hmm. and then you go and use it. This is not wire, this is an actual strip of lights. But he got his scissors out and chopped off the right length with scissors. And like I'm like, what's this? He says, you can just, just plug it in, go, go, go. I said, wait a minute, you just cut this off with scissors. He said, don't, just plug it in, go. <laughs> so next picture, bingo. Ah, ah, so, so, I mean, we haven't got the room lights sorted out. The lights on the wall and stuff still aren't sorted out yet. But uh, I just thought, you know, and again, Aoyama says, just rolling his eyes, Dave, what are you doing? You know, this is not an Akihabara shop, you know, whatever. But I don't care. I think it's a nice little touch. What a nice little touch. People saying Xmas lights, or I hope it changes color. <laughs> well, actually, actually, it does. It's got an. It, we're not going to use it. We're just going to set it. And I, actually, whatever. I was going. I was not going to tell the staff or something. But this, it comes to the little remote control unit, which yeah. at the moment is in the drawer, which simply turns it off or turns it on. Okay. Oh, okay. But then it also does level zero, one, two, three, four. This, this is level three in brightness. That's level three out of ten in brightness. It goes up to ten in brightness. That is really bright. And then it's got whatever you would call Christmas mode or something. You punch it into Christmas mode and it goes doobie doo, flash, 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 flash. It pat has all these patterns and all that. <laughs> uh, if we have a Christmas staff party or something, we can, yeah. we can disco it up with this thing. But, uh, you know, so. but other than that, it's just going to be. I just thought it was a nice touch. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna use the same thing in a couple more places. Mm -hmm. I know in the back room and the party room behind the shoji screens. Mm -hmm. You know we've got these two shoji screens on the wall, but there's nothing behind them. There's no real window. So I'm gonna put one of these behind the screens to give a little more of a feeling that there's actually a window there or something. You know. Poke in here. Can you where are we? Oh. Good, thank you. I think that's the last picture. I think if you go over the arrow again, it takes to the next one. Uh, you have to be in. You have to be clicked into construction. Sorry. Oh no, there. Super, super, super. There are more. So I took the iPad down there to show you know what it would look like in, a, in the actual shop. And we have another problem too. I didn't want to destroy the counter with a, a hole, but the iPad needs power. At the moment, the counter we're on right now, we just drilled holes down because it's a pretty rough, rough mm -hmm. job, you know. But I don't want to spoil that thing. So what I'd like to do is run the thing on battery power. You know, make sure it's charging during the night. And then uh -huh. just in the morning, when we open up, put the iPad up there, unplug it, and just let it run on battery power. But I don't know if it's going to last a full day, you know, depending on the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is going to be really close. Hi. Well, well, well. Ooh, that's the back side. That's your side. Mm -hmm. stuff. You can see the curve. The curve slides yeah. down one top, you know. Yeah. And below that's going to be the cash box and the tax forms and you know, the other stuff, whatever, for wrapping the prints. And on this, you can see it here. On the left-hand side, behind where the staff sits, there's a bit of a, a desk. I'm pointing at the things. People can't see my finger. And you see behind the desk, there's sort of a shelf with a round thing on top. Do you want to? Yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> they can see it or not. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> That's where the the iMac is going to go, and it's got it's on a lazy susan. It rotates, mm -hmm. so the staff can see the computer screen when they need to to do on a party reservations and stuff. And yet you just swivel it around so the customers in the shop can see it. Because lots of times they ask us, you know. Uh, is something open today or something and we have to yeah. get on the net and search for stuff with the customer to get it so the computer you know, will rotate round back and forth back and forth Excuse I think how much you rent today is that okay actually yeah. I'd oh, like to switch? switch over oh okay yeah okay and just maybe there's one more picture hang on a second let's see what's here okay you gotta click back into it yeah, and that's from the other direction. That's looking mm -hmm. from the party room. You can see the lazy Susan again. Out towards, yeah, right hand side. That's where the Mac would be. So, and yeah. it's free, so the staff, the staff can see it on there. I think it's a nice addition. This light thing, you know, Rachel yeah. hadn't seen it. I put the picture in first of the counter with no lights, <laughs> and then popped up the lights. So yeah, that's good. Looks yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. You didn't, you didn't see Christmas mode, did you? <laughs> no, what is Christmas mode? It, the, the thing, it has a little interface that sits yeah. in between the power plug and the light unit right. itself. And it, it sets it off and up and down. This is level yeah. three in brightness. Wow. It I goes, remember it yesterday, midday, <coughs> I turned it up to 
10, 10 and whatever and, and it, it can wow. light the whole shop all by itself you know yeah. this is like 13 watts or something like yeah. this I, I cannot understand these things these Little things you know, so. but then it, all, it also has i forget what they call it whatever flash mode or something and it's got flashing patterns and it yeah. sends you know a left right stuff so. Oh, that's fun. So when we get some customers drunk, whatever they can enter, or, or set it for disco mode when we have the Hanami party, or yeah. whatever. I don't <laughs> so, know. So yeah, put it on Christmas mode throughout the holidays, the end of the year, <laughs> <laughs> and send all the epileptic customers writhing on the floor. I think that's the last picture, is it, Nathan? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. It goes back to the back beginning. To the beginning. Okay. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Pop it down. Good. All right. Okay. Thanks you can swap for sure. Cameron. I'll get mm -hmm. back to work on this thing. And you can start your party preparation, please, ma'am. Is that okay? okay. We've got a full schedule today. And what I want to do, even though it's three parties, like what is it, three people, five people, four people or something, yeah. I really, really, really want to go downstairs and work because mm -hmm. I've got to build the coffee counter section because yeah. it's, tomorrow is the scheduled day for doing the floor. Yeah. And it's like Aoyama-san, that's it. Dave, your back's against the wall. Do this thing, you know. Yeah. So you guys are capable, I think. You guys are capable and competent. So start your preparations. Yeah. We're in the middle of doing the first color block here. We were explaining what's going on and stuff, you know. And it was difficult. There's even people who I think I've seen this before who know are still asking questions. What's he doing? What's he doing? You know, why is there both yellow and black and what's going on? And so I tried to explain it just before H and came. I was trying to explain it again. Yeah. But I think it's, uh, I'm not sure, you know. Do you get it? Do you get what's happening here? Uh, no. No. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. Oops, uh, unclear about why there's a big white patch. So well, you cut it out. Yeah, I've it. tried and moved it on. And so so oh, this okay. is the this is the printed transfer sheet. Yeah. So this has the accurate information for hmm. where the lines are. And on a normal one, we just color in. We paint in the area we want yellow. Okay. Bingo. Done. Hmm. Perfectly accurate. But I need patterns here, and I'm not skilled enough to paint them mm. to match the original. We were talking about in Adachi in the old days, Funabashi-san, long dead now. Right. He would take these transfer sheets, look at the photograph of the original, and he would paint the kimono patterns or uh, whatever was necessary. Yeah. If this was this print, he'd just paint the seaweed. Huh. And I want one, I want more accuracy than that, and two, I'm not skilled enough to paint this at all. So right. I do my painting on the iPad, which is the result here, right. which is now printed out at the same scale. But I can't just cut this because the lines, the border lines, are not accurate enough. Mm. In all the process of going to the iPad, back from the iPad, going to the copy shop, walking there in the rain this morning and back, yeah. it's yeah. too dangerous that this paper will be the yeah. wrong size. So I can't just carve that. I still need the position of the lines from this one. Mm. So that's what we see here. You can see I've, I haven't cut this right to the line. Yeah, I've pasted on the part that I can't draw and left the transfer data, mm -hmm. the actual lines themselves. Right. So that's three times I've tried to explain it. I think that's yeah. the last time I'm going to try and explain it today. <laughs> I'm just going to shut up now okay. and try and do it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Done, Decker. Thanks. But yeah, just send another email and we'll set up a new date. Good. John's coming over again, I think, in the yeah. fall, is he? I, yeah, I thought he so said in November. Again. He messed up the request, so he's going to send me another date to get it. Messed up the request. Or, what? Yeah. He I guess he it? told the wrong date or something. Oh, on the well, what, reservation form? I guess so. Although it's in November and those reservations aren't open yet, so I guess it was another email. I haven't opened Mokohankan email today yet, so. <laughs> something I don't know about. We now have another thing, another mistake, which we discovered while doing the tracing the other day. Mm. When the guy was doing the, am I on, am I on camera? Yeah, yeah. The guy was doing the tracings. So I've been curious sometimes why so many of these bumps end in the same place exactly. Mm. And I was kind of thinking, whatever, the guy probably carved it first as a straight shape and then notched it for the bumps. And there, here we are. We have this one right here where it is straight huh. and it should be notched. So he didn't these notch last that two. One. So he didn't notch these last two, and they're down at the very bottom corner here. Huh. And I'm thinking, like, 
Kay. lunchtime or whatever yeah. or you know getting lazy over there i don't want to say lazy i know busy or or yeah. distracted or, or lazy whatever. or lazy <laughs> i don't know not to say lazy, but I will anyway. But then my question now is, what do I do with this? Do I now carve zigzags on this? Because clearly that's the style of this print. All this seaweed is cut to the lines at the bottom and zigzagged at the top. Right. And this particular one is not. Is not. Yeah. These two. One, two. Yeah. You could zoom in a little bit more, but I know you're going to be moving around a lot, cutting and pasting. New sections. Yeah, you can make yourself smaller, whatever. It's up to you, whatever. I don't know. Okay, I think we're okay. All right, good. Also, I totally forgot about this. Day-chan came in the room and this thing's sitting on the table. I totally forgot about that today. I think it's a don't ask, don't tell. She's okay, but as yeah. long as I don't, she'll put it in her face and talk about it. It's okay. Yeah. So, so she's, she's, you know, kids these days are pretty, uh, not pretty hip, so. So, but it shouldn't have been here, but it's better not to talk about it. Either, so. Yeah. Kind of, I don't know. Mm. Or I'm in trouble. I don't know. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I already called your mom. The other thing I know, last night, I worked downstairs all day yesterday. Mm -hmm. I came upstairs. And I was trying to think, what should I do for the stream today? Because I wasn't, I didn't have this much prepared. Huh? Yeah. I actually got up early this morning to go and make this color transfer right. on the copy shop and get it ready. So it's okay. I did get it done in time. But I was thinking I don't have anything for the stream tomorrow. Should I just cancel it, do this preparation later, yeah. and then come back on a Thursday morning mm. or something? But whereas part of that, I sat there last night in my in my days after doing that, and I watched part of Monday's stream. I, I, I clicked up Monday's Twitch stream. Yeah. Actually, I was on the iPad. I was testing the iPad Wi-Fi downstairs. Right. As part of testing it, I loaded the Twitch app and see how it went. So I, I clicked on yesterday's stream and I clicked about halfway through. You 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 were just about to join us. I'm forgetting what we we're talking about, but you might laugh at this, but it was fun watching. It was interesting. Oh, good. <laughs> and I thought, you know, I've I've been seeing these all the time from my perspective. You know, right. I just yeah. what are are what we're doing is interesting. Should I be entertaining? We're trying to make a show. You know, blah blah. Stress yeah. stress stress. What to do? It was fun watching it. <laughs> okay. I was thinking, man, if there was a stream out there that I could watch, you know, a guy doing something, and maybe a friend would come in and chat now and then, and yeah, and it was just listening to them talk and then watching a bit of the work, and yeah. I, I just sat there relaxing. I stayed there like forty-five minutes. I shouldn't have done that. I had so much work. So you watched the to second do. half of it. I basically. watched the whole second half. It's like, <laughs> what's going to happen next, and what are they going to talk about? And I think I want to type a comment there, you know. And, <laughs> well, I'm glad. You I just just it. for a, you, you guys are probably laughing. But what yeah. kind of an idiot is he? You know, it's his own stream. But I just yeah. got a bit of a taste of what it's like to watch one of these things, yeah. which I never do. <laughs> and it was actually okay. So I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better about these now. You know, yeah. I was really feeling that what we're doing here is really not so interesting, and that I should show more of the work. And people are here trying to learn exotic technical details. Yeah. And maybe that's X percent of it, but maybe I'm beginning to realize that a bigger it's percent of it is just, it's just sit down and relax and they've had a day's work or whatever. Yeah. And, and I'm not quite sure if I'm happy with that, but <laughs> I myself, whatever, you know, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. but it was an interesting experience for me to do that. You know, people are probably laughing. What, what did, yep, you know? we've got a, Dave should do a stream of himself watching himself stream. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing you haven't seen it yet. there's a comment this morning I was really thirsty this yep, morning someone's yeah. mentioned Orangina already well, they, they I didn't said, know what and, they today's about. stream is brought to you by oh, yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> product placement mm. Re cool refreshing Orangina <laughs> the only thing is that there's a web address it says orangina.jp, which I don't think is going to be much help to those yeah. people so. <laughs> I think it's originally a French company I, I don't right? have no idea it says here it says oh yeah it's got Bottle, well, born in France, bottled in Japan. I don't think it was made in France. I think the brand name was born I in France. La Pulp d'Orange. I mean, we get this thing, wine, pulp. you know, made in France, bottled in Japan. They yeah. send them over in giant industrial tanks, you know, yeah. five million gallons, and then bottle it here. Yeah. I doubt that's what this is. But... Oh, that's funny. Hmm. You mentioned wanting to see if there was another stream that's interesting. 
Uh, no, no, I don't have time. I don't have time. No, 24-7 no, no. Bob Ross stream. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no thanks. No thanks, no thanks. Seen one, seen them all. Yeah. <laughs> right? Am I going to get in trouble for saying that? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the chat in that Bob Ross one is utter cancer, whatever that means. But it's a nice relaxing stream, so if you ignore the chat on the Bob utter Ross one... What do you mean? People are on all... Just vitriolic, I guess, or... Okay. Unpleasant? I don't know. There's an old cooking show stream, too, 24 hours. Yeah, I wasn't really asking for recommendations. Yeah. I'm kind of like kind of occupied, but you know, yeah. Oh, it's just all memes, apparently. Yeah. That's what but, this thing's become. Yeah. What do you mean? That's our stream. Yeah. Nothing but memes. Owls, oranginas, fridges. <laughs> Psycho Suikasas. I'm here for the stories, Dave. Oh yeah, well, there, there, I mean, I've been recently. There hasn't been stories because I've just been with my head down trying to get through the work. You know? Yeah. There was one. There was a customer in the shop. Customer, a, f a friend, acquaintance, collector, mm. customer, uh, and he'd been enjoying Story Week back mm. when it was a thing. You know, in fact, he he and I had corresponded. I didn't know his name actually when he came in the shop, but yeah, we'd be corresponding about Story Week and. Uh, and he says that he really regrets and that's, that that's not alive. And uh, please, Dave, please get this going again. And, hmm. and I don't know what to say. There are, of course, a million stories, but uh, I don't know what to say. There's a, there's a time to live stuff and there's a time to think about it and write about it. I don't know. Back yeah. then I had time to do both. And uh, yeah, they were simple little stories, but they still took time, you know. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, yeah. Good points, John Decker. Some people watch the Cubs game, some people watch Dave. People find different things relaxing or enjoyable to watch. So people watch sports events. Mm. Like the soccer games you keep asking me about. I'm like, oh, I forgot there was one again. <laughs> or I didn't know in the first place. I think it's Thursday the next one. Yeah. Sure. Oh, okay. I'm so not a soccer fan, either, of course. Yeah. Only can he smile. So if I can really escape downstairs today, it's going to be making the coffee, not the coffee table, what's it called, the, the, the coffee stand where yeah. the coffee machine lives and uh, I've got all designed, and what I did was, you know, because those are really large sheets, you got to, I've got to cut the top and big, big sheets out of, out of a sheet of plywood. So oh, I wow. didn't just order plywood, I went to the home center two nights ago mm. with my plans in hand and bought the plywood and asked them to, to chop it, you know, to oh, cut right. it Oh, right, they delivered that in the morning, right? Yeah, they delivered that in the morning, so, so it's all pre-cut, so I've got to sort of just, quote, just assemble it. Mm. Yeah. And then find out the mistakes I made. And... Oh, your mother jumped in. Said, I think everyone oh. enjoyed story a week. So. I did, yeah, I did. I'd love to do it. You know, there were light episodes. There was nothing serious. I don't do social commentary or anything. It was yeah. just episodes. And mm -hmm. I enjoyed it too. Hi, mom. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that Dave is the Bob Ross of printmaking, and someone else jumps in and says, "No, Bob Ross was the David Bull of oh, painting." <laughs> well, there was a different. I mean, uh, there's a precedent here. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. What is that? 
It's a piece of the, what do you call it? I don't know that. Oh, is that the corrugated tin? Yeah, or yeah, something? yeah, yeah, corrugated tin on his. Uh, on the wall over there? Yeah. It's just bang, 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 bang. It was really strong wind this morning. Mm. Spring, eh? Yeah. Spring has sprung, the grass is released. from spring has sprung the grass is risen i'm not sure do you know it may i spring has sprung the grass is risen i wonder where the dot dot is i better be careful this might be something <laughs> i don't remember all i remember is that that oh my god i probably haven't heard felt or heard that in, in decades does somebody know i'm not familiar but anyone help us out an audio just came to mind now from the depth of depths of memory. <laughs> yeah. Spring has sprung, the grass has riz. No, the grass is riz. I wonder where something the, the something is. I can't remember what the something is, but it might not be polite on all. <laughs> well, neither is the, <laughs> the image here. It's probably something from grade one elementary school. Kids just make jokes with each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kevin B. 1976 says, the flowers is, the flower, I wonder where the flowers is. Both, both wrote flowers. So, I don't know. grammatically incorrect, but that. No, no, no. It was, both some, no, it it was something that was some kind of a, a, a jokish thing. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm trying to think here as, as I, uh, Ogden Nash. Ogden Nash. Name from, bring any bells with you? No? You're Cameron Sand, you're too young. Yeah. So. And I think, you know, New Yorker magazine, 1960s or something like this, 1950s, okay. 1960s. The boy day? But I don't know if that word is. If you go Google a phrase of that, you know, riz, it's riz, R-I-Z. Spring has sprung, the grass is riz. So if you put the grass is riz in a quotation marks along with Ogden, O-G-D-E-N, bingo, you'll get it. It's coming Every back, it's coming back now. Spring has sprung, the grass is riz. I wonder where the postman is, not the postman, it was something. I wonder where the boydy is. Someone says boydy. They say the boydy, oh, it's a birdie. The boydy is, they say the boydy is on the wing, but that's absurd. The wing is on the bird. Someone's got all this written out. So this is Ogden Nash, is it? Is that where, yeah. where we're at? Yep. Oh, wait. The spring is sprung rhyme by Anonymous, not Ogden Nash. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, well, well oops. No, it, it, they wrote in parentheses, not Ogden Nash. So everyone thinks it's thinks him. Okay, it's all right. Him, so uh, me too. All right, all right, so all right, funny. all right. The boy. Okay. My God, stuff coming out of memory from like 99 years ago. I'm sorry. Maybe my, my mother might know what this is. I don't remember. No one knows who wrote the lines, although some people link it to the poet Ogden Nash. Okay. Whoever predates him and is a far older piece of nonsense. <laughs> written by the prolific author anonymous <laughs> okay yeah what's the what's the missing object i wonder where the something the boydy it's a boydy yeah <laughs> ah, it's okay, it's okay. The spring is sprung the grass is riz i wonder where the boydy is they say the boydy's on the wing but that's absurd the wing is on the boy that sure oh, sounds like the Ogden Nash type of type of doggerel. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's a translation of the rhyme into standard English. Spring is here and the grass has grown. I wonder where the bird is hiding. They say the bird is on the wing, but that's absurd. It's the other way around. The wing is on the bird. <laughs> Why is there more? I don't know. Okay. okay <laughs> no, that's okay. just right. translated right. into right. standard modern English, yes. which I think is funny. But uh, things you learn on one of our streams. Yeah. Uh, the, the link with Ogden Nash comes because he published a poem entitled Spring Comes to Murray Hill in the New Yorker magazine in mm. 1930. 30? Yeah. <clears throat> I said that. Okay, well, yeah. I, I, I knew of it in the 1950s and 60s. Yeah. So that... His poem is also nonsense doggerel, but that's where the similarity with the Spring is Sprung ends. Nash's poem begins with the lines, I sit in an office at 244 Madison Avenue and say to myself, you have a responsible job, haven't you? Why then do you fritter away your time on this doggerel? If you have a sore throat, you can cure it by using a good goggerel. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean fritter away? That's what he got paid to do. I mean, yeah. That's what the New Yorker magazine was about. Whatever, you know. Uh, that's funny. A serious story now and then. Then had a bunch of this entertaining stuff. You know? That's so funny. Uh, uh, that's silly. Treadmill 2 called it. 
And who else got it first? Called it meaning what? I don't know. Some mentioned already. Some say the bird is on the wing, but that's absurd. Okay. The wing's on the bird. He wrote that a while ago, but I did not understand the connection to hmm. the poem with the... Spring has sprung. Okay, the spring okay. has no, sprung. No, I didn't know either, so... You got it. Thank you, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Spring the grass is roots. I wonder where Waldo is, or Wally, depending on where in the world you are. Huh? Some place or in the U.S. the books are published as Where's Waldo, and then other places it's Where's Wally. Really? Reason. Yeah. I think that's Japan actually. Where's Wally? I think, yeah, right? in Japan. Yeah. But I think when I read it, the U.K. also calls him Wally. But I'm why not is sure. Waldo a bad word or something? Or, or short... <laughs> not one I know of. No, it's shorthand for you know Dick or something or whatever. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I think you run into those things all the time. Yeah. Yep, in the UK it's Wally. Got my back. So interesting. In German, it's Wo ist Walter? <laughs> Where is Walter? Instead of Waldo or Wally. So I'm in other words, a real name. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, so which makes sense, I guess. In Sweden, so. it's Willy. Danish his name is Holger. That one's not even close. What? H O L G E R. Where's Holger? <laughs> yeah. So there must be some reason for this. Right? Yeah, that's interesting. But yeah, in Japan, it's Wari. Wari, did you? Yeah. Walter is a real name in Germany and in the U.S. and elsewhere too. Yeah, definitely more common than Waldo. <laughs> I mean, that's why no one can find him. He keeps changing names. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese printmaking weekly recap, pornographic octopi, World Cup update, literary <laughs> review, more than I ever expected from this stream. <laughs> what a camera, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, uh, yikes. And a famous doorbell. <laughs> and the famous doorbell. Which I've noticed you've relocated. So I just didn't know it wasn't. Ooh. Strong breeze really hitting us. So no, I was uh, what was that? I was doing dose or something. And mm. I wanted to hear it. so I put it there so yeah. I could hear it from the third floor. Makes sense. But it's good because some of these days it's been so busy that I can hear it clearly from the third floor, so when I know you Yeah, so that's why I left print it. Party. It was, it was helping. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. It is windy. Wow. It's great. I didn't realize it's still here. That's great. You did such a nice job, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Everyone's. What was that? <laughs> Oh, it's day chan is here. I'm um, two day chans. We have yeah, double, double day today. Oh, I forgot to take a paper out of the fridge. Ow! Quick, it's the share certificates. There's 17 share certificates. It's a thin pack. Is, is there a name on it? No. Okay. It just says what it is, though. I can't get over that thing, right? Share, it's just share, it says. Oh, just says share. Oh, Audrey san, thank you. Hello, hello, hello. It's very windy. It's okay. It is indeed windy. So everything outside is okay. I, I put everything outside. I uh, know. Maybe we should use the rainy day poster, the one without the pamphlets. I'll but the the hata is okay. That's strong. Okay. I'll switch there. 
Thank you, sir. We might get away with it. Let's see what she tries. It's Audrey. Oh, I thought it was a day. It's a really girls' day today. It's Audrey, yeah. Shiba san day, and day. Ishikawa san's upstairs already. She came at 6 30. No, 6 6 20 or so. Wow. My alarm goes off. My alarm went off at like around 6. And I was sitting there struggling with to myself up. to get up. Yeah. And then I hear the ping pong. And recently there's been ghost ping pongs. Oh, so it doesn't matter to ignore it. The... And then. They're a little bit off here. And then the door opens, and I'm like, I'm there in bed. Six thirty, the door opens. <laughs> Who's here? It's Ishikawa San. She knows. She knows not to not to yeah. bother me at that time. Or so. Is the building falling apart? Are we all still alive? The rats are evolving. I guess with all the chaos of the wind. I don't know what to think about the rats. You know, I really don't know what to think. Yeah. I had thought we were done with it, but then we heard that sound. What was it about yeah. uh, ten days ago or so? Yeah, but it was just once, right? It hasn't yeah. been a recurring but thing. But whatever, just once it means they're there. You know? Yeah. So I really don't know what to think. I thought we were free of it, but I'm no longer that confident. It's not wind, it's the ghost of hope side that we're in saying. <laughs> Turn down the volume of the stream before you tell her about the missing paper. <laughs> No, we won't have to. It's it's out. It's warming up. It'll be okay. It's only thin. It's on a, another dozen share certificates yeah. covered this month. So. Yeah. I don't know the Japanese word for windy. Kaze ga tsuyoi. Yeah, that works. Hmm. Is there a specific ad? ad? I don't think so. No. You have to state the case. The yeah. wind is strong. I think. Mm -hmm. Unless there's something I don't know. Yeah. I'm sure there's poetic words and stuff. Yeah. Kyo kaze tsuyoi desu ne. <laughs> this is the toughest corner. What makes that corner? There's all, they're buried inside it. I want the edges, which don't exist otherwise, so I need to keep this for the edges. But I need to see the other stuff inside. This is tough, what to do here, this is tough. Sugoi kaze desu ne, Rei-chan just said. It's amazing wind, huh? Ah, they changed the poster back and then changed it back again. She didn't know. Ah, <laughs> 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 good morning. <laughs> Another one of your friends walked away yesterday. Huh? Kino Mata Ghost. Aureta? Oh, mm. Aureshi. <laughs> <laughs> So customers did find their way in sometime yesterday. Pardon me? Yesterday was Tuesday, right? Oh, no, I, I meant Monday. I'm sorry. Oh, no, okay. I no, I, I was... No, 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 no. I, meant, I meant yesterday is in last opening day. I'm oh, sorry. okay. I'm sorry. No, it's because sometimes... <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The prints no. do walk up on Tuesdays, too. So I thought maybe no. it opened up in the evening. There were, there were people who visited. We had the shutter open, of course, because I was working downstairs. And there were right. a few people coming by. Oh, okay. But we just said, said, said stuff. Took our pictures downstairs and... You know, Thanks for coming. Yeah, we're close. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's about nine thirty, but we just finish this corner then, I guess, and whatever. I should just there's nothing else you know, to specifically to show him except this work. So. Well, okay, what we should just do then, I guess, is this. Right, let's just show what we've done and then sign off. Then okay. let's zoom out. Recap again what we've done. We took test proofs, the first test proofs. I'm not sure which one here, the one on the bottom of this pile. 
This must be the very first, here we are, the very first print from the block. Oh, wow. Here we are. Just, you know, I washed the block. Yeah. It's here. I, I had to do the test. So, so I washed the block. It's now pigmented up. And the very first print taken from it is this one. It's not a print. It's the very first proof. Let's do it. Should we just write number one? Number one. That's the very first sheet cool. of paper from this block. And it came out okay, you know. I think the, her hair is very, very nice. It doesn't even need much trimming or adjustment at all. Yeah. It came out very well. This hair looks okay. Might need to touch up. There's a few lines, a bit thick, a bit wiggly here and there in the octopus. I have next to no, next to nothing to do on this block. It came out very, very well. Cool. A few of these tentacles, not tentacles, a few of these, I don't know, what do you call them? Suckers. Suckers, whatever. <laughs> they seem a bit fat. Maybe trim a couple of those. Other than that, I think we're good to go on that. So we've done our first transfer. This will be the transfer for the seaweed, which without wanting to recap the whole thing, it's a combination of drawing the seaweed and transferring from what I did, sketching, tracing on yeah. the iPad the other day. Morning, Arch. We're coming. Look at this salvery sound. It's coming along. The first color block. You this is the seaweed oh, block. So. You know, I saw it last year in January. That was the oh, first the real time one. I popped yeah, it in the yeah, shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you we were starting the, the copy. Oh, wow. So it's coming along. So. Very impressive. So not soon, not too long now. Great. So Evans is going to practice printing his writing. Is he coming in today? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who was it? Evan, the, the oh. party attendee who's been here four weeks right. running on Wednesdays. Only on yeah. days when, when one a particular one of the staff is here. Mm. You cannot say the name. You cannot say the name. It's okay. a collector's item, the one with the one circled on it. Yeah, it's gonna sit in our files here, I guess, whatever. Okay, there we go. Here's the block. Okay. Okay. Sort of a bit confusing uh, up and down, up and down stream today. I know what should be happening if I do get this finished today. Actually, I'm, I'm going to go downstairs right now to start okay. working on the coffee counter. Yeah. Tonight I've got more dosa because Kawai-san Kanai -san put the note in last night, one day after his trial son put her mm. note in, and she wants it tomorrow. Of course it does. We've got to train him, Cameron. They have got to let me know earlier because yeah. I can't do that. I can't do dosa every night for yeah. one person, one person, one person. Yeah. So we've got Doing to do batches. With yep. more than one person. Yep. 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 Also, in case Heritage Printmakers is here today, I did his dosa last night. Ooh. I don't want to talk too much about it on the stream, yeah. but his paper will be on the way forthwith. Cool. So, Cameron Town, sign me out of this. Right. So i got to get to work. We will see you all next time. One last word from our sponsor today. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one.